Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Hunter Hunter. 2011. Episode... A hundred and thirty afterthoughts. Next week is the the episode. Now I don't know if it's the whole fight, but regardless, next week. Live reaction. I already got kind of got the idea of how I'm gonna set that up. Pretty much, I have um, I, you know, the mangas. I'll I'll place them behind my computer screen, and I have this my video camera, and I'll post put it on top of this change thing. I have. It's pretty tall, so I should have enough rev leverage to post put them up there, and you'll see me. It's easier that way. And I'll plug my headphones in. You won't hear it because I don't have you know the. By the way, this episode, oh, by the way, I know I'm repeating myself, but now it's official. It's really official. Call in the exterminators. Yes, the exterminators. You know the exterminators with the really large boots? You know? I'm trying to fix my chair here. With the very large boots that say, um, you know, the kill boots that are the thick heels and shit, and you use it to squish bugs? Call them in. Call in the exterminators. We have a pest problem. You know what its name is? Its name is Poof. Pump his throat and internal organs with pesticide. Yeah. No, 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 don't, you don't have to spray it on him. Stick it in his fucking mouth and proceed to spray it in there and watch him die as he convulses and just, he just, he just, he just throws up and he just like, Hey man, no fucks are given. Poof is a fuck boy. Your Majesty! Well, Your Majesty's gonna be pretty pissed off when he finds out that you attempted to kill Kamugi. He's gonna remember her, and then he's going to fucking stab you in the fucking head. And you're gonna be dead. Check it. But yeah, I'm sorry. He he's 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 trying to manipulate everyone in, in this in this this current thing. He thinks, oh, he's won. Uh, no, you haven't. Because once his majesty, once Miriam finds out that there's Kamugi and you didn't do what you were supposed to do, you're trying to hide the truth. And here's the thing, Yopi, he might spill the beans too. This is, I'm telling you right now, I'm telling you right now, if Miriam gets word and he sees what Poof's doing, Poof's done. He is fucking done. And I hope Miriam melts his his entire melts poof completely out. Now that I got that out of the way, for what Poof was doing, he basically basically in this episode he manipulated everyone. He manipulated Wolfen to tell um Pito. He manipulated Pito, he manipulated Gone, Wolfen. There hasn't a single person he manipulated. So as judgment, he is a fuckboy. He's a fucking faggot. I can say faggot, because he is pretty much a faggot. He was orgasming after... Come on, you're a faggot. Move on. And we have a, a very simple policy here. You're a fly. Flies are supposed to be squished. Check it. Plus, uh, last I checked, don't flies eat shit. Yeah, so now he's a shit eater, too. <laughs> 
Yeah, he pretty much, that's what he did. He was a, he's, he's a fucking fuckboy. And he manipulates people. And I say, fuck that shit. Kill this motherfucker. Pump his ass full of pesticides. <laughs> no. No fucks are given. Now, we had that part of the episode. That was pretty much what happened. Majority. Uh, we got an explanation from Palm about how her ability works with the crystal on her forehead. Like, she could see three different areas. She sees King, the King, with Poof and Yopi. She sees herself with um, Killua and, and Komugi. And she sees Gon with Pizza. Now, let's get into the juicy part of this episode. Gon. Wow. Wow. Um, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen in Shonen, at least to this extent, to what was going on with Gon in any other Shonen. I mean, I could be wrong. I could be fucking wrong. I could be wrong. But I've never seen where a character, a main character in the Shonen, would go through that. You know? Would go through that psychological breakdown like he did. It was unbelievable. It was, it, it blew me away. Because he finds out from Pito that Kite is dead. And, and this is the whole point about Poof. Like, okay, you pissed off Poof. You, you pissed off going Poof, congratulations. He's going to go ham next week, and he's going to kill Pito. So, and you're going to be fucked anyway, so I'm not talking to you anymore. But, the breakdown. It was done unbelievably well. Like, he's like, he kept saying, it's my fault, it's my fault. You know, I tagged along with him, it's my fault. And at the same time, that Gon is having these thoughts. You have this other side of Gon saying, it's Pito's fault, it's Pito's fault, it's his fault, kill him! At the same time. Listen, never seen anyone else gone through that kind of situation. Oh, I'm, I've am i seen characters, I mean, like, I guess you could say Luffy, I guess you could say Naruto to some extent, maybe Ichigo, but I've never seen Ichigo in that kind of situation. But Gon, this was pretty freaking deep. Now, while I was watching this episode, I was thinking to myself, wait, the thing is... I question like Gon's re gut reaction of 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 his 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 relationship with with Kite because I think to myself, well, like how deep was this relationship he had with Kite, his friendship? Because I, I question it, but then I thought to myself when they showed the flashbacks, I was like, okay, now I can see why, because Kite was a quote-unquote important figure in Gon's life. To a certain extent, he was. He really was. Um, when he stopped Gon for attacking that bear in the very beginning of Hunter x Hunter to what he experienced with him in the beginning of, or in true to the Chimera Antark, and he blames himself continuously for it. And Pito thinks, he thinks like, oh, the gloves are off next week, people. Next week, there will be nothing left of Pito. He will be gone. Completely gone. And that means there's only two royal guards left. Well, One's going to be left because Yopi, uh, Poof is, well, Poof, yeah. Poof is going to be smeared on the side of the fucking wall. He'll be fucking done. 
So, but that just this whole episode was one freaking trip. And yeah, I don't think even like with the big pop more popular series, I've never seen a character go through emotions like that. Like, you have one side of your psyche saying, it's my fault, I'm to blame, Kite is dead because me, I killed him. And the other one's like, no, it's Pito's fault. Ugh, you know, like, crazy anger. That is, that is some trip. Kudos to Madhouse for how they handled that. That was handled extremely well. Now, I haven't read the manga. Of this part, but from what I hear, it's not done as that in the manga, especially the the, the flashbacks with, with Kite. And this just just threw me off. I was like, Whoa. the crying and shit. But next week, now next week, Poof confronts Killua. Killua should do one thing. Electrocute his fucking ass until he's nothing but a pile of smearing flesh. And we also get... Now, it's kind of funny because, you know, this is all Pooh's fault. He manipulated everybody in this episode. So that, oh, my majesty. Give me a fucking break, okay? Why don't you go jerk off in the corner over there? Why don't you go jerk off in the corner, you, you fucking, fucking faggot. I'm sorry, he's a faggot. Poof, I, 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 really, I really think Togashi created him so people would hate his guts. But, and then we get the scene with, with, with Gong next week. It's, it's like, some darkness shit. Big time darkness shit. And Pito's gonna fight him. Uh, Pito, if I was him... I'm calling it him because, uh, you know. Yeah. Let me close the window so it knows he's in here. Because Pito, you know, it's gotten to a point where, um, he believes now that Kumu, because that's really the whole story here with, and I want to just finish it off with this. It was really about Kamugi. It's all about Kamugi, because see, Kamugi for Poof is like, oh, he's like a little bitch, Poof, because he believes that, oh, if, if Marin finds out that Kamugi's still alive and sees her, he changed him, so, what's your big fucking problem, get the fly dildo out of your ass, like seriously, but, he believes that. But in Pito's eyes, he believes, you know, that Kamugi's very important to the king, to marry him. And we shouldn't lose her. Regardless, and here's another thing. Poof, he's done. Regardless, someone is going to kill this guy. Someone's going to kill him. Someone's going to find out the truth. And they're going to be like, you're a fucking liar and now you're going to die. So, but this episode was just a hell of a trip. And next week, goddamn, I think I think they're not going to show the whole fight though. So what it's going to be is is there will be no review next week. I have the thoughts next week. It will be a live reaction. Uh probably late. Maybe around this time when I'll do it. Um and like I said, I'll do that thing with the camera and everything. And you guys will see my live reaction to this shit. Uh, it's going to be some fucking trip. I, I just I just know it. I kind of know what happens. But I don't... I haven't seen it. I haven't seen the full... What goes down. So... We'll have to wait and see. But, yeah, that's pretty much the story. Bonkai 922. See you guys later, Hunter Hunter. 
Next week is going to be some fucking trip, I tell you right now. Poof is done. I meant what I said. He is done. Fill him, fill him up with, with pesticides. Fill him up with pesticides. It's, it's, he's done for the day. It is over for him. Um, you know, that's it. So, that's all there is to it. Okay, so, Bonkai922, I'll see you guys later. Down with Poof, man. Like, give me a fucking break. Stop, stop being homosexual. Is this what he acts like? He's like, oh, king, my majesty, king. I'm like, hey, you want to go in a corner and, and, and have sex with a, with a, with a blow-up doll of Miriam? I'm just saying. Hey, people, I'm just saying. He's very suspect. He's a very suspect individual, and he needs to go alone to be with somebody. I'm Bonkai Nitro. See you guys later. Go next week. Nothing but greatness awaits for us next week. Just absolute greatness. I'll see you guys later. Peace.